Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this free fall question, they tell us that in an action movie, the villain is rescued from the ocean by grabbing onto the ladder and hanging from a helicopter. He is so intent on gripping the ladder though that he lets go of the briefcase of counterfeit money when he's 130 meters above the water. If the briefcase hits the water six seconds later, what was the speed at which the helicopter was ascending? So wow, sometimes these questions, when you first read it, you're like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to do this? So let's go through it step by step and first make a list of all the information that they give us. So they tell us that the delta y that the briefcase goes is essentially 130 meters, right? Because we have the guy in the helicopter and then he's hanging from a ladder and that person is 100 when he lets go of the briefcase is 130 meters above the water. So whenever we write this, if, if you think about it, it's actually a negative 130 meters, right? Because if we say right here is equal to y equals zero, then that is going to be negative 130 meters. So now they also tell us that the time that it took for it to fall was six seconds. And we want to know what the initial velocity of the helicopter is. So they're trying to just make you think one step further, because if the initial velocity of the helicopter is going up, it's going to be the exact same speed that the briefcase is initially going up as well. So the briefcase is going to go up a little bit and then it's going to fall and come back down and land. So by finding the speed of the briefcase, it's essentially the exact same speed of the helicopter. So that's what we're looking for. We need to know what the acceleration is and it's just gravity, it's free fall. So it's going to be a negative G or a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We can break up, if you want, the delta y into y initial and y final. I'm going to keep them there, as you'll see here in just a second. So now we have a picture of our problem, and we have a list of everything that's given. So now let's write down the equation that we'll be using. We need an equation that has the initial velocity that we're going to solve for with all these other components and no variables that we don't have the information for. So the one that we'll be using is y final is equal to y initial plus v, uh, velocity is initial times time plus one half times the acceleration times time squared. I'm going to move the y initial over and so we'll be subtracting that over so what we left with is y final minus y initial but that's essentially just delta y right so that's why I'm leaving it here because what we can do is leave this as delta y is equal to velocity initial times time plus one half times the acceleration times time squared. We want to solve for the initial velocity though, so let's subtract over this whole variable here. So we have velocity initial times time is equal to delta y minus one half acceleration times time squared. And now we can divide finally both sides by t. So initial velocity is isolated and we have delta y minus one half times the acceleration times the time squared all over the time. And we have all of these variables, so all we have to do is plug them in and we'll find our answer. So we have v initial is equal to negative 130 meters minus negative one half times the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, times the time squared, which is six seconds squared. And then all of that will be over the time, which is six seconds. So now when we go to our calculator, we have negative 130 minus, let's put all this in parentheses. So negative 130 minus 0.5 times negative 9.8 times six squared. Okay, and now we'll divide that all by six seconds, which is going to give us 7.7, .7. so the initial velocity that the helicopter was going was 7.7 .7 meters per second. 